Today in this video, not only I will break down cold tools and why this is the currently the best cold calling software out there, but I'll also teach you how to integrate it with Twilio, which can save you money and give you better connections to potentially get you better deals and make you more money in real estate wholesaling. Welcome back to the channel and let's get straight into it. Cold Tools is one of the biggest cold calling dialers out there. I use most of the other major dialers, which are Mojo, Ready Call, which used to be Zen Call, and Batch Dialer. I've used Cold Tools, it was a little bit expensive to me at the time, so I switched to another one, but as the time came by, I've switched back to Cold Tools. So because I knew it was a little bit too expensive for me, I knew it might be for some of you as well, so I actually decided to partner with Cold Tools on this video. So if you use the link down below, you will actually get 20% discount for the first three months you use Cold Tools, and you get 90% discount on their activation fee. So we're gonna go straight into the computer, and I'm gonna show you why Cold Tools is the best cold call and dialer out there. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how to use it in the future as well. All right, so when you purchase the software, what to do, where should you go? So first of all, you're gonna to need some data. And there, this is my data that I have. I have 17,000 contacts right now uploaded to cold tools. Sometimes I delete all contacts, sometimes I upload new ones because we have been using different areas constantly. So, you know, I kind of cycle through. My prop stream has like 80,000 properties but my Colts has only about 17. So you would click data, you would click contacts, then you would go to upload contacts. Here you would drop the CSV file uh, that you would get from uh, PropStream, and then from there you would script trace it. You're gonna go ahead and upload it here. Let's say, I, I mean, I have this one available. I click open. Then from this point, you're gonna map it out, address by address, city to city, state to state, property zip to zip code owner name, you know, and then you're gonna go scroll down here and make sure the phone numbers are also with the phone numbers here. Uh, this may look empty right now because maybe the first lead did not have phone numbers, but the other ones will. So after that's done, you're gonna click next. And when you click next, you make sure to create a tag that you will remember. So for example, you can do like the city, what type of property, what kind of list it is. And after you do, you click upload. It takes a little bit to upload. And after that's done, where you can find those leads and you go to filter, here you scroll down, make sure tags, and then you're gonna go ahead and choose one of the tags, click add tag, and then filter results. And all of these are on this particular list, which has 7,918 contacts. So after you uploaded the contacts, what should you do next? Well, the next thing you should do is go to live filters and create a live filter for that campaign. You're gonna have multiple different live filters throughout when you explore cold tools and do different campaigns. So, but I suggest starting with the first one. So you're gonna go ahead and click create live filter. And after that, you're gonna go uh, put a name here. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, just for, for the sake of this video. Description, if you want to, active. You're gonna filter through federal do not call number flags. Um, sometimes you can turn it off if you want to, that's up to you do it at your own risk. I don't suggest doing anything like that, but if you want to, you can. Then after that, you're gonna go ahead and type in the tags here, which for example, I knew I had a Bradington single family home high equity lead chirper, for example, this list. And I go ahead and add that tag. So all contacts with that exact tag will be uploaded here. And this is why I'm saying this is very important. You will need to find these tags later on. So make sure you tag them the things that you would remember. So you're gonna do that. Then if you want to exclude any tags or less call disposition, let's say any of these, for example, you don't wanna call people that were interested or you don't wanna call people that were uh, wrong numbers, which you probably shouldn't anyway. So you can do that. And for this campaign, you actually will not be calling those. Then you save it. After you save it, uh, let's see, you know, right here, you can see the one, two, three. So next thing you're gonna do is create a sales funnel. This is very important. Uh, it used to be much more complicated than it is nowadays. They actually made it pretty simple. So you're gonna create sales funnels. It will open up something like, let's go ahead and create one. So we're gonna call one, two, three. Now description, you add a sales funnel. What is a sales funnel? Sales funnel is what the software would do after contacting a lead or what you want the software to do. So you're pretty much automizing the software and optimizing it the best way possible. So for example, let's say you called someone, the trigger is agent call disposition, which means that an agent or you, uh, when they call the lead, they disposition it somehow. What kind of disposition? So for example, the person said wrong number and you say outbound call attempts, one and it says one here. So here's what I suggest doing. Go ahead and do between one and 
100. All right, so this may be a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna try to explain it the best way possible. If you call the lead anywhere between the first or 100th time of calling the lead, and they say this is their own number, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and set them to do not call. So again, it's not that you call the same lead a hundred times if they tell you they have a wrong number, that's not the case. You actually will call someone one time and let's say they don't say anything. Then you're gonna call them again, gonna call them again. Let's say you call them 40 times. On the 40th time, they finally answered. They said, hey, I'm not the person. This is the wrong number. That happens to be the case. Cultos will say, oh, this is the wrong number. I'm not gonna call them again. Just because you registered that type of a answer or disposition from you anywhere between the first or the hundredth phone call to this contact. I hope I explained this well. So all you have to do is create all kinds of rules here. You know, let's say, what if happens with a voicemail? You keep calling them or you don't call them again. I would suggest keep calling, call them again in 10 minutes. Doesn't have to be the fact that they will be called in 10 minutes. They will be cycled back into your list after 10 minutes. So you create multiple funnels. Let me show you the one that I already have done, which is my main one, all. This is how it used to be. You had to, you had to create for every single one. Uh, which that's why I have like up to like 50 of them, which is like insane And the 50 is per uh, Disposition so that's a little was a little bit annoying. So I'm very glad they changed that it is much better now All right, so after you create your sales funnel, you have your contact you have your life filters You're going to need phone numbers and here's where I'm going to show you how to integrate Call tools with Twilio. So you're gonna click phone numbers here. First of all, I suggest purchasing at least one phone number directly from Call Tools. And the reason why this is important because you can actually purchase phone numbers that are SMS enabled. Even though you cannot use Call Tools to call text, but you can receive text from the leads you have called. So I suggest using SMS enabled, and you or your agents will be able to receive text while they're cold calling because somebody can say, hey, um, I thought about your offer or something like that, you know, I wanna accept it. So you don't wanna miss those, so you do wanna have at least one phone number that can receive text. Then you're gonna go ahead and go to caller IDs. In here, as you can see, I have a lot more phone numbers. And you're gonna create a caller ID, and then you're gonna put a name to the ID, let's say you a certain county or city or list, and then you're gonna put a phone number. But you don't have that phone number, right? So what are you gonna do, where are you gonna get that? And this is where Twilio comes into place. So when you sign up for Twilio, what you're going to do is that you're gonna to go to phone numbers. And after you go to phone numbers, you're gonna click manage and you're gonna buy a number. And here, here's what I would suggest doing. Is that you're, first of all, you're gonna go ahead and look for area codes or, you know, for example, here they're providing Minnesota phone numbers. If you're cold call in Minnesota, you can do that. Let's say you want 863, which is Polk County, Lakeland uh, in Florida. You know, it pops out right there. And then you go ahead and just purchase it. It is $1.15 a month. While with cold tools, I think it's at least $2. I think it's even more. So you can save uh, quite some money on this because Twilio doesn't charge you to have an account with them. All it charges you per phone number. So you buy this many phone numbers, as many as you want. And after that, you're gonna go ahead and literally copy from here go to cold tools, create a caller ID, put a phone number, the name, and that's it, and that's done. And it will be added to the list. After you add a bunch of phone numbers, you wanna kinda put them in groups. So you, for example, here I have a Manatee uh, County group. So that's Manatee County that we're cold calling on right now. You're gonna go here, name the group, and then you're gonna add any of the phone numbers that you wanna throw into the caller ID group. After that's done, you gotta create a caller ID strategy. And here, I prefer using local presence. I think this even comes preset already uh, because you want to use this because if you have phone numbers that are all over the place, most likely Sarah's are not going to answer. However, if you have a phone number that matches their area code, yeah, they are more likely to answer your phone call. So after that's done, you gotta go ahead and create a campaign. So let's say one, two, three campaign. I uh, don't have to put a description if you don't want, put it, make it active. You put a live filter on it, let's say one, two, three, and then you put live filter, let's say we choose the one that we had. Uh, you will not create a bucket because live filter will be determined there. Then you, it will be a sales funnel, which you can use the one, two, three one that I created, but obviously I'm gonna use my old, the one I've normally been using. You have a script here, you can add scripts right there. 
create a script for yourself or for your agents, then you I uh, for sure suggest doing call recording because it is much better that you can go back and listen to the conversations for your own sake so you know what happened during that conversation. I always allow phone numbers, mobile phone numbers. Sometimes you do want to even target them. Then I would go with local presence and make sure it's caller ID, call E. Channels per agent. So this is where you can play around a little bit. If it's a list that's harder to get a hold of people, I suggest going with a higher channels per agent what that means is that so let's say you pick seven so seven phone numbers are being called at the same time first of them that will pick up will actually be connected to your agent or you so but let's say you have a list that you get a hold of much more often you get a hold of people much more easier then i would suggest lowering that down to like three or four so that you don't miss a lot of leads because let's say seven people are get called one person answers the other person answers as well you only can answer one person the other person just gonna hear like oh this doesn't say anything i'm gonna hang up and that they just hang up and you lost the lead which i mean it will be back in the system but you don't want to do that and here in advanced settings i don't really choose anything much um i think it all set up pretty well here um so yeah and then you click save after you click save you will create a campaign that'll be right here make sure it's active by clicking this button then you're gonna go to settings that's where we were members make sure all your agents are in your members uh here you can actually connect like podio to call tools my agents just prefer doing it directly just going to put in put it in there um, i think that's pretty simple and then call dispositions make sure you have call dispositions here uh, you know, voicemail, customer hang up, phone number, not interested, interest not available. So all those things, uh, you need to make sure that your agents can do them because based on how they mark the call, based on that, your filter will filter those leads back into the system or not. All right, and there you go. And you have uh, call tools set up. Obviously, you, you see that I don't have a dialer because I'm not the one calling. I have agents that do call. So like, like I said, I suggest this platform comparing to any other cold calling platform for a couple of reasons because I do think it's very user friendly. I think you can, it's great that you can call anywhere from one to 10 lines per agent. Uh, for example, the other software that allows you to do that much is Zencall, but it's absolutely not user friendly. You can do up to 12 in Zencall. You don't want to do that, by the way. But if you do 12, it's just not user friendly. Call Tools is and still provides you a very high power dialer. So if you guys want to check out the software, the link is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have any other questions about the software. I'm sure I'll be able to help you out. And as always, peace.